and welcome to my presentation of tsunamis. Today, I have a poster board, the question wheel, and my slideshow. Today, I'm going to be presenting you my slideshow. So let's get started. My first question is how are they formed? Tsunamis are formed by earthquakes, landslides, and or volcanoes. So this is whatever causes it. This is the movement of water, which you'll see in all the diagrams. And then this is the pressure of land. You'll see that one too. And then this is earthquakes causing the tsunami. This is the water draining. This is a fall life falling. And then this is the pressure of the fall life falling. This is the movement of water and this and then this is the pressure of wind. And volcanoes causing a tsunami. Um, this is when the volcano erupts underwater. It pushes all that water in all directions. And then this is the pressure of land. You saw that in all the other diagrams too. So this is a rock falling from a landslide. Then this is the pressure of all the rocks falling. Then you have the movement of water going in all directions. Well, I just put it over here. And then this is the pressure of land. And where do they form? They form in the Pacific Ocean or anywhere else that there are fault lines, volcanoes, or mountains in the ocean. And do they do damage underwater? No, but coral reefs help slow down the tsunami. So that way, it does less damage on land and the tsunami goes slower. And what is a feature of tsunamis? Soon we might be able to detect tsunamis before they even happen. We might be able to. Um, does a tide come before a tsunami? Yes, it does. That happens when all the water, water from an earthquake drains into a fault line, causing a tide. The, the water also never comes back either. And how big and small can tsunamis grow? Well, sorry. The small tsunamis only wave, while the biggest one ever in Alaska was as big as a skyscraper. What would life be like without the witch still? Oh, we would not be able to detect tsunamis, so all we will see is a tide from the earthquake or a wave from the volcano or the landslide. And then the work of my project, as you saw earlier, I have the question wheel and my poster board. And then this is me. And then resources, this one is a very important one. I learned from Pebble Go for my first two questions. Where did they form? And how are they formed? Then Moon 360 and Old Town Elementary was also helpful. So now I'm going to move on to the actual demonstration of the tsunami. So this piece of board right here will represent the small wave, and when it hits land, that will represent tsunami. And then of course this is an animal, Then I got civilization right here. Okay, so let's start this. Well, when tsunami ends, it might look something like that. Some of that, oh, and look, the shark even came onto land. Some of them, it might look like that. Some of them might have retreated back into the ocean, including cars, people, buildings that aren't ridden into the ground. But as you can see, the palm tree and this building right here hardly ever even moved. That's because they're rooted into the ground. Unlike the cars, the statue, and the people, they aren't rooted into the ground as well. They're just standing. Might have been holding on to something, but that's all. I hope you enjoyed this and not and there will be another project soon.